Hi everyone, so in this video we are going to start with AWS and we are going to start playing with AWS stuff. So for AWS, the, the first thing you need is a AWS account. Without that, uh, we can't do much here. So what we are going to do is first you have a basic AWS account so that we can start playing with things. So in that case, we can just uh, we can create a Lambda, we can create AWS ECS, EC2 instance and all because from this video onwards, we are going to deploy the, the, the Node.js microservice on AWS environment. And on AWS environment, it can be Lambda, it can be ECS. Earlier videos, we already done EC2 instance, right? So let's talk about how we can do this. What you can do is first you create your root account. I mean, you will get a AWS root account and you just enable MFA, multi-factor authentication and all. Then the another thing which you need to do is create an admin user. Obviously, you should not be using the root account every time. You can just uh, create a administrator user and through that administrator user, you can start playing with the AWS account. You just need to give uh, appropriate permissions to that uh, administrator user so that you can just do the same stuff which uh, your root account is doing. Okay, except few things which your root account only is allowed to do. Okay, so here we have created the uh, admin account. I'm logged in with that admin account. And then you can just go to your IAM and check the permissions and all. Here, this is the IAM dashboard. I am the single user, which has the administrator account, administrator access. So here is our user created. Uh, we can also add this user to the existing group. So the, there are things in IAM like user group and users. You can create an admin user group. And let's say if you want to create a new admin user, then you can attach that user to the existing group. So TK Sharma is actually a group and here I can set a check for the permission. And this is the, the permission which you can add, which is administrator permission. System administrator or administrator access that contains the, this is like AWS managed job. It's like AWS admin apart from root account. He will have access to everything. And in this sandbox TKS Sarma group, this is the user group inside that I do have one user. So this TKS Sharma is actually user. So this is how you can just create a user inside a particular user group. And I can create a user like TKS Sharma sandbox. TKS Sharma is actually group name. So these are like basic uh, stuff which you should have already before we start playing with the AWS account. I mean, we will start playing with the creating a Lambda function and playing with AWS CDK because AWS CDK also needed the, the user credentials. And this AWS sandbox user will have a console access and the command line access. And I'm giving this administrator access to this sandbox user. So these both the permissions are there and you can see you can log in with this console sign in link. And they, you can also create a access key and secret key. These are the security credentials which you need to log in. Like you can see the access key and secret key. You can generate access key and secret key also like this. Generate access key and secret key. Because when you try to access AWS, you need access key and secret key to access AWS resources through command line. So all those things you can just configure. Access key will use to access the AWS through the command line, through third party services, all these things. Okay, you can, here I'm trying to create a access key and secret key. Access key and secret key and download them and just keep them secret. Don't share with anyone else. So that's it. This is actually the basic setup. In this setup, what we have done is we have created a simple group. You can create, assign the permission to the group as an admin and then you can attach a user that will automatically get the admin access or you can create a simple user and then give a permission to that user as an admin. That's like a system admin uh, permissions you can give. So I have created a demo user. These are the two users I have created then I will delete because I'm just showing it for the demo. So now with this uh, basic setup, what all things we already have now, we do have AWS account. I mean, I have already shown this demo many times how to do the basic AWS account setup and create a root admin user. Here you will get a root user. 
with the root user you can create a one admin user that's the basic setup we are doing and here i have created one admin user so this is the big ocean out of that we have this aws root user and then admin user and we have an access key and secret key for this admin user so that because the admin user is we are going to use the access key and secret key this access key and the secret key and with both of these things we are going to access aws command line this is aws because whatever the cdk thinks this aws cdk what it does what it do is this is also command line here we will do is npx cdk deploy app name what it will be doing it will be using your aws credentials and will be creating a resource on aws right so these are the important and whatever the user you are using make sure that user has admin access then only you can create a resources against aws right so that is the first thing we already have aws account setup now we will try to understand what is this cdk so i mean you can also take a look on aws cdk thing what it does or how it looks like what is aws cdk it's like an open source library which aws providing us it's like cloud development kit and through the the libraries and through the classes whatever the interface it provides we are able to write code so what we are doing is this is the stack which we are able to write in typescript and what this stack contains okay this contains the sqs lambda function dynamo db s3 all these aws components like s3 lambda api gateway dynamo db these are called constructs and we combine all these construct together and create a stack let's say my application stack is the oath api stack oath api stack can contain a dynamo api gateway and lambda so all these things combines construct lambda is a construct api gateway is a construct dynamo is a construct we combine all of these create a one stack and that stack is nothing but an application and how the deployment happens this create the cloud formation templates when you do npx cdk deploy it checks your code it checks your construct your stack name and create a cloud formation template because while talking to aws and creating resources still we are using the cloud formation which is already a native component to aws i mean aws cloud formation that is that has a configuration viable configuration and it creates the resources on aws also manages their state so if you see this is the kind of code which uh, we are writing so what it is doing it is creating vpc virtual private cloud cl cluster and inside a vpc it is just this is the fargate cluster and you can see here this is creating a cluster and at attaching a simple load balancer this is the typescript code and we love typescript we know typescript we can write typescript okay coming to the cdk workshop this is the important part I mean, you can write AWS CDK in Python, .NET, Java, Node.js. I mean, TypeScript. It's allowed in all the languages. So, if you know TypeScript, you can create your infrastructure in your TypeScript code also. We can write. We do write front end in the React TypeScript, write back end in the Node.js TypeScript. So, for us, it is easy to build an infrastructure in TypeScript. We just need to know how it really works. So, we'll just talk about uh, this AWS CDK first. I'll talk about architecture if we have something how it really works right this image can be helpful okay this is from AWS native so we can use this image what it does you have your node.js app parallel to that you will create a cdk where you will just put your code that code defines your construct okay i need s3 sqs sns lambda api gateway those will be constructed and with that you will create a stack then cdk is actually cloud development kit when you do cdk synth cdk synth means it synthesizes your code and check okay everything is correct when you do cdk synth it actually creates a cloud formation template 
and when you do the CDK deploy, it push those CloudFormation template on AWS. Okay, this is the CloudFormation template. Create all these resources. AWS already understands the CloudFormation templates because this CDK is nothing but a, a wrapper which is creating a CloudFormation template for you. Rest AWS already knows how to transpile the CloudFormation template and create your resources like Lambda, API, Gateway, Dynamo and all. So on the same line, we will try to understand more about uh, this serverless architecture. In serverless, we have a Lambda, API, Gateway, Dynamo, S3, event triggers for the Lambda, all those things. And also we'll talk about uh, this AWS CDK. What all different command like CDK init will create a template. CDK synth, whatever the code you have written, it creates a uh, cloud formation template. CDK deploy stack name, it pushes the cloud formation template to AWS. CDK destroy, it deletes uh, your stack and all the resources created by that. Uh, let's try to understand uh, the different constructs of CDK. What we are going to do is, uh, this is a typical AWS infrastructure, right? What do we have is the uh, API gateway, which is hitting the Lambda, and then Lambda may be talking to DynamoDB or getting the data from some third party service. So this is the typical architecture where you have AWS Cognito, Lambda, S3 bucket, SQS, SNS, multiple different Lambda functions. They are doing different, different things. And this is a typical structure of your stack. So what this stack contains, this stack contains your app stack name and inside that it does have all these other components and what these components are, let's say construct, construct can be okay, cloud front, S3, Lambda, all the AWS components can be created using constructs like Lambda, API gateway. So all these construct combined created inside a stack. In the code also, we will use the same terminology, stack and construct. When you do AWS, uh, sorry, CDK synth, it synthesizes the stack and create a cloud formation template. When you do CDK deploy, it deploys that cloud formation template to your AWS environment. This is how this is how this whole structure really works. We create a construct, create a stack, and then we do synth and deploy. And all these things happens through CDK. So here, what do what we are doing? We are writing constructs in TypeScript, creating a stack, and through the CDK CLI. I mean, we use this command CDK init, CDK synth, CDK deploy, CDK destroy. Using those commands, we are just creating this CloudFormation template, which contains the resources, and then CloudFormation will just deploy that to the AWS environment. Uh, this is a bit important. What we are doing, all these things are, here, these are the construct and stack. Let me show. This is your app. Inside app, you have a stack. Your app can have multiple stack. But for now, we will consider only one app, one stack and multiple constructs. So you are creating construct inside a stack that becomes your application. Right. And then the next thing is uh, how these constructs are combined. What are these constructs? Constructs are nothing but your all um, AWS component can be Lambda function, Dynamo table, API gateway endpoint, S3 bucket and how you are writing that using simple TypeScript code const bucket equal to new S3 dot bucket. That particular line is enough to create S3 bucket on AWS and that we are familiar. We can use these uh, APIs to create these things. <clears throat> and this is how your stack look like. App new app. You create your stack, stack is nothing. You can have multiple stack in your application. You do the synth that will create a template. We will see this, these things in the demo and then you will understand more about it. So this is a little bit front end stack where we have API gateway, cloud front and front end app is deployed. So there can be different, different examples like a react app, angular app is deployed on the static host bucket, S3 bucket and that is exposed by cloud front and then map to the route 53 domain. All these things can be written in your AWS CDK code. This is typical your backend uh, architecture you can say. Here all these things, authorized lambda, then there are the particular lambdas which are deployed, map to API gateway. You will send a request to the API gateway that will hit the lambda and that will talk to RDS or DynamoDB.
<clears throat> so the this is our target this is what uh, i was talking about we are going to create a constructs we are going to create the tag out of these and then we will use cdk resources cdk cli to send deploy destroy the resources using cdk you can create any component aws cognito you can create lambda aurora db event bridge sns sqs api gateway sqs lambda api gateway dynamo anything you can create just by writing your typescript code so in the coming demos we will just write uh, we will just see how you can do all these things through the typescript code and what are the the core constructs of aws cdk